Hi, Waterfall. My Walking on Water series began after 3-11, 2011, uh, the tsunami disaster and earthquake, uh, great uh, Tohoku earthquake in Japan. And I ended up uh, traveling to Japan to see firsthand uh, in that April. Uh, and I speak about it uh, in my various lectures and commencement address that I gave after that. It was a devastating experience So, seeing an entire village of uh, fishing village all washed away with elementary schools with boats turned upside down on the rooftops and it, it was just a uh, uh, unforgettable scene and after I came back I started a series called Walking on Water as, as an energy to the victims of, of the disaster and begin to process as an artist to ask a question can we walk on water which is an impossible question to ask and yet it's uh, to me important for an artist in time of crisis to process what we're going through and obviously right now we are going through an intense crisis that is um, decimating hope in various sectors uh, especially in New York so walking water is also a series of paintings that I have been doing to ask whether such an impossibility can coexist with our processing and, and how we can uh, gain hope uh, even in the midst of trauma and uh, enormous um, senses of loss. Two paintings, one is called Grace, subtitled Grace, and the other called Waves. And they are obviously referring to the waves that uh, Jesus walked on in Sea of Galilee or any kind of storms of life that we go through. Simone Weil, uh, a, a, a French uh, author, wrote in, uh, in a book called Gravity and Grace that they're two operating principles in the universe. One is gravity and the other is grace. Gravity pulls you down, grace lifts you up. And so the paintings is designed to confuse how we might position ourselves looking at the work. And it is literally to carry us through a moment of crisis to bring healing into that process. And, and so once we're disoriented, we're not quite sure if we're standing over a painting or looking uh, at the horizon or looking above. And when that perspective shift can happen, I, I think the work can start to speak to the unsettling reality of our times. And, and even bring peace to that process as gravity will pull you down, but grace will pull you up. So I hope as a prayer that it would serve uh, the viewers this way, uh, in the quiet of that space, and as we have a potential of touring uh, this uh, work of art, uh, Gravity and Grace work, I have commissioned my friend Susie Barra, uh, a Ted Fellow composer, visionary, uh, who had just come back from uh, the Himalaya mountains recording the glacier sound underwater. And she's going to use that to create her composition, which will accompany this piece if we um, uh, install this in an immersive environment with sound. So, so Susie Barra's uh, piece will be a collaborative journey into uh, this world of grace and 
she told, just told me just recently that she was thinking about this piece that she would like to compose her first spiritual jazz music, immersive um, sound uh, music to uh, accompany my painting. So I'm excited about that. I'm grateful to Kate and Waterfall Mansion to host this exhibit, um, as well as other paintings, important paintings of mine. And um, I look forward to having a conversation about this um, um, as we go through this time uh, of um, difficult time in New York City. This is my prayer for recovery of New York and, and the storm of life that we have been going through as well. God bless you and thank you.